to the impeachment of President Trump. It looks like we're closer to the start of the president's impeachment trial. The House plans to deliver the articles of impeachment to the state Senate tomorrow. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has the latest from Capitol Hill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi met with her caucus this morning to go over the next steps on sending the articles of impeachment over to the Senate. Pelosi has yet to reveal the names of impeachment managers who will need approval by a full House vote. The managers will then physically walk over the articles to the Senate and ultimately serve as prosecutors in the trial. There's a number of members who would be fully qualified to do it. The chief lawyer for President Trump's defense will be White House counsel Pat Cipollone. CBS News has learned the trial in the Republican-controlled Senate could begin as early as next Tuesday. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is working on a resolution to lay out the rules for the proceedings. Senate Republicans discussed avoiding a trial by simply voting to dismiss the article, something President Trump supported in a tweet. But that's unlikely to pass. At least four GOP senators say they are open to hearing from witnesses. I support the Clinton impeachment model, which is a vote on witnesses later. Uh, but as to which witnesses I want to hear from and so forth, that's something which, uh, which I'm open to. But McConnell says it's not up to the Senate to do the House's job. House Democrats' case cannot simultaneously be so robust that it was enough to impeach in the first place, but also so weak that the Senate needs to go fishing. A fair trial has witnesses. A fair trial has relevant documents. Democrats want to hear from former National Security Advisor John Bolton. A senior White House official confirms the president will invoke executive privilege to block Bolton's testimony. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And once it begins, a Senate trial could last three to five weeks.